Good morning, everyone. Isabel Uy here today to show you my messy booty room. <laughs> so I've tried to necessarily keep it somewhat clean, but ever since my cousins left, I've been piling and piling and piling everything. As you can see right next to my bed, you don't want to see what's on my bed. So I've already started cleaning before I started this video, but um, I'm going to be organizing and cleaning out my closet today just because there is a lot of junk in here. So I want to organize it and be able to put stuff in the garage or put stuff into storage or put stuff to go and donate or sell. So I've already started on two boxes. I used to have three up there. And then this is everything in those boxes. <laughs> I have a garbage bag on my bed. I have literally... I told you guys in my last video when I was talking to you, I keep literally everything. Like, this is a piggy bank that my brother got for me when he was traveling in Washington, D.C. and broke and my family fixed for me. And there's still coins in here because the hole is too small. That's what she said. <laughs> but yeah, I've been like opening up these boxes. I found my Astro pins that I've stuck on my volleyball bag. I found some Totoro stuff that I'm gonna keep. Honestly, why do I do this to myself? But I even got a brand new wallet. Like my mom didn't know what to give me for Christmas. So she gave me a Kipling wallet and I literally spent three to 10 minutes just putting everything into my new wallet and I should have been cleaning. But I will continue to show you guys my cleaning and I will show you the aftermath. So please stay tuned. <laughs> down the stairs coming back up. It was not a good experience.
officially 5.5 days until I leave for San Diego just because my mom did switch it to January 11th at around 6 when she comes back home So I realized that my phone actually died while I was recording that I'm sorry, my hair is really oily I put coconut oil in it and it's bugging me But my hair is gonna be really soft after <laughs> But yes, I did Oh, hello! So I did finish packing most of the things I will show you what I've done so far. So first of all, in my closet, I broke it down to two boxes, uh, one being school and one being sentimental that I do wanna keep at the house. These are all of the clothes that I will be keeping at the house. I have actually donated that entire bag right there. Excuse me. Yes, find some treasure. So moving on, that is donation. That is trash, trash, trash. That's laundry. I'm bringing those two with me. This is has my yearbook, my volleyball spandex, um, and a little bit of other clothes, just ones that I couldn't fit earlier. The, that is my volleyball socks as well as a sweater. This is my chemistry textbook I'm going to return. Oh, hello. This is the microphone I'm going to return and I will tell you why in another video. This is my backpack. I have not packed it yet just because I do need clothes until I actually leave. This is my school bag. This is underwear, underwear, not all of the same thing, but like, you know, they just take up a lot. This, I do not know what this is actually. Oh, actually this is just um, regular clothes that I folded so that they could fit in here. This is clothes as well. These are decoration as well as some reusable bags in here. These are my volleyball shoes, decoration. These are separators that go into the drawers. They work really well. This is some um, extra stuff that was on my desk. Oh, sentimental things, art supplies. And I have not packed up my desk yet, but I have put um, my planner and an extra notebook in this bag. Um, I packed up my lotion, my fans, and some snacks in here. I will be taking this. I will be taking this. These I'm not so sure about. Um, my setup, I will be taking. I just don't know where I'm putting it. Apple pencil back there. Definitely taking my quarters. Um, X's piggy bank, not sure about that. And I'm definitely taking my angel bouquet with me just because I love it and I love her. And this piggy bank was my sister's from her ex-boyfriend, but I think I'm gonna add it next to my um, my baby bottle from OC Night Market that Kobe got for me. Or well, more like I bought and that Kobe wanted. But I will be using that to start my life fund or like to fund my videos. Um, this bag is full of scrunchies that my sister made for me. And I did empty out every single one of these drawers except for that one because it does have material items in it such as my apple boxes and um, some souvenirs like from round one and a, and a wild Casper, yes it does. As well as um, the hair stuff that my sister left for me, I'm going to go through this very soon. Other than that, I have socks and undies and um, these are the clothes that I have not packed yet just because these are ones that I can still wear up until the day I leave. So I'm keeping these here until I do have to pack them. This area is still a mess, but that's okay. It's my nightstand. I'm not bringing that table with me. And yeah, that's pretty much all that I've packed so far. So yeah, progress. I have a couple of friends help coming to help me pack on the 10th the night before. So I'm going to try to see if I can load everything in my car on the 10th and then I can just leave and be stress-free on the 11th. I also do need to pack up Casper's things, but those I'm just bringing one of his beds as well as all of his toys so my mom doesn't have to deal with it. Um, I do need to pack up my bathroom and my toiletries. I have not done that yet. I need to give away some of the plushies that I am not taking with me just because I do have a lot of plushies even after giving some of them away to my friends. And I also do need to pack up my comforter as well as order new pillows just because these pillows are really old and they've gotten really, really flat. <laughs> and I am a person that tends to sleep on my side, so I get really bad neck cricks in the morning. I don't know what else to pack. I feel like underprepared, but prepared. I said this about my chemistry test and that did not go well, so I'll see you on the 10th. Thank you.